Coming up on today's edition of the HGTV Morning Announcements, learn about how you could potentially through lots of time, effort, and an enormous amount of fortune, or misfortune depending on your perspective, solve the murder of a multi-billionaire. And also learn about the higher education opportunity for Hispanic students. And the news starts right now. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome back to HGTV on a Friday high day. I'm the one and only Junior, here with the one and only unstable Uranium 235. For lunch today in lines one and two, quesadillas. Three, soup and salad bar featuring broccoli soup. Four, assorted sandwiches and pepperoni calzones. And five, as usual, closed. And a happy birthday goes out to Brian Gomez Chavez. Now to sports with the one and only, the phenomenal one, Dallas. Thanks, guys. It's the phenomenal one here. Uh, thanks. Uh, in hot dogs sports news, the Lady Hot Dogs softball team game has been res rescheduled to Monday. And for the quote of the day today, it is, we are Venom. That's, all, that's it for sports. Now back to the studio with our hosts. Plague. Ivy Tech's Hispanic Student Day on campus is Wednesday, April 3rd. This is for juniors and seniors. Permission slips are posted outside of room 201 and are due next Wednesday, March 20th. If you plan on going, do not be late to school as you'll be leaving at 8.15. Now to Ms. Scanlon with information on Ivy Tech's Criminal Justice Day. Good morning, hot dogs. I am Ms. Scanlon, your College Connection Coach, here to tell you about Ivy Tech's Criminal Justice Day. Now this event will be held Tuesday, April 2nd from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m., but you don't have to stay the whole time. Keep in mind, this is the Tuesday after spring break, so it is coming up. Now this event is for all interested high school students and college students, so it'll be a huge crowd of people there to see police officers from all over the state, from all different departments. There'll be a demonstration from the K-9 unit, so those police dogs, the bomb squad, drone demonstrations, and you get a tour of the criminal justice classrooms and meet the teachers of the program. Now if this is something you're interested in and you're an upperclassman, go talk to the guidance office to see if this can count as one of your excused college tours. If you're an underclassman, so freshman or sophomore, unfortunately you are going to have to talk to your parents to see if they can call you in and go take you to the event. Now if you are interested, please feel free to stop at my table to get a flyer that outlines when the events are happening, again you don't have to stay the whole time, and to figure out if you would be interested in RSVPing. Have a good day, hot dogs. Thanks, Ms. Scanlon. I'm not too hot on criminal justice, but I'm not getting a drum part. Anyway, as usual, Deca selling cookies, chocolate chip, and m and snickerdoodle or sugar cookies. Only a dollar bag. Speaking of Deca, we're now going to send it to Mrs. Graham Bishop with the Deca results. I'm Amanda Graham Bishop, Frankfurt High School Deca's advisor. It is with great pleasure to share with all of you Frankfurt Deca's success at this year's Indiana State Conference. We had 17 students representing Frankfurt High School this year, and 11 of the 17 made the stage. With the highest honor, Itzel Garza, Jr., earned first place in Startup Business Plan. Thanks. If you want to see the rest of the video, then check the chatter where it lies. Mrs. Bacon and Mrs. Lovis are going to have tryouts for Sapphire Majorettes the week following spring break. There will be a call-out for anyone interested on April 1st at 4 p.m. Tryouts are from 4 to 5 on April 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. You must attend all three dates. Sapphire Majorette is a hybrid of the fire dance team and the hot dog band Color Guard, and will have chances to compete over the summer and perform at football and basketball games, as well as march on the Frankfurt parades. If there are any questions, contact Mrs. Bacon or Mrs. Lovis. Finally, for the last cutaway of the day, we have a clip from Mark Bott of Operation Kids Safe. 
Hi, Mark Bott, the founder of Operation Kid Safe. Join the WS Grig Allstate Insurance Team for Child Safety and Health Day. Operation Kid Safe Amber Alert Cards. Safety tips to start a family action plan. Free health screenings for children. Bilingual staff will be available. The event will be at Purdue Extension and Learning Network Office, 1111 South Jackson Street in Frankfurt. It's Friday, March 15th from 3.30 to 7.30 p.m. Go to WS Grig Allstate Facebook page for more details. Thanks, Mark. Well, looks like that's going to do it for today's morning announcements. I hope you guys enjoy watching. Remember to Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, like, subscribe, and tune in next time when we laminate the lighting system.